this is a story of two families. One, the Johnson family and the McGee family. Okay? The Johnson family was headed by Dr. C.C. Johnson, who was a pharmacist and a doctor. Okay? The other family was the McGee and McGee family. Okay? They were contractors. All right? The way this building came about was my grandfather, Dr. Johnson, needed a place to relocate his drugstore to, so he got together with my other grandfather, McGee and McGee, and they built this building to house the drugstore. One of the major features of the drugstore was the soda fountain, and the soda fountain was integrated. That is, in the 20s, blacks and whites could come here and be served at the counter and sit at the counter at the soda fountain. There was also the story about a big water bottle being here. Ice cold water was served to anyone who would come in and get a free glass, a paper cup of cold ice water. So your introduction to me with the Green Book, where this drugstore is mentioned in the 1940 edition of the Green Book as a place that people could stop in the South. And the Green Book was written for black travelers, tourists and so forth. So evidently they were aware that they could come to this store and also, you know, enjoy. And the Renaissance consisted of redoing the hotel, the hotel in the corner and also building a three-story parking lot on this corner. So they were going to destroy this building and several other buildings that were historic. Well, we would like to see it maintained. We would like to see it's a, one of the historic buildings downtown. Uh, and we would like to see it maintained.